So this car shifts really rough. I mean, like really rough. Let me see if I can get it to do it. There's one. Alright, that's all I can get. But basically it, it throws me every time that it shifts. Um, and then when I come to a stop, it takes a little while to shift into neutral. And so I get a good little jolt every time I come to the red light. So I'm going to fix it today. And really, basically, I think it's just low on transmission fluid. So we're going to put some transmission fluid in it, which is pretty straightforward. But I'm still going to walk you through it. Because if your car is shifting rough, this is an easy thing to fix. And it will make you a lot less crazy every time you drive your car. Check it out. So filling the transmission of this car is, is pretty straightforward, um, but you do need a couple of tools that are kind of, I guess, special. There's a drain plug and a fill plug underneath the pan, and you have to undo the fill plug and then force liquid in. So you need a pump of some sort. I just picked this up at an auto parts store. Now, I'm actually going to use this, and I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of people that hate this, but I'm going to use some of this stuff. This is uh, Bars Leaks Automatic Transmission Repair. I know it's not actually a repair. But I've had really good luck with this stuff for power steering pops um, on several different cars. So I'm going to try it on the transmission because, I don't know, I just want to see if it works. I'll let you know so you don't have to try it. Um, I've also got some of this. It's some Valvoline Dexmark um, ATF. The problem with where I live is I'm about an hour and a half from the nearest Audi dealership. So it's hard to get Audi fluid. But I've heard this stuff works good for the automatic transmission fluid. So if I do need more automatic transmission fluid, I'm gonna put that in there. Um, so that should be it. The drain plug is a 17 millimeter hex. Let me get it real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. <clears throat> Let's see. It is that one. See that? It's massive. Uh, but that's the drain plug. Um, but you can actually get these at like AutoZone or O'Reilly's or whatever. So we're just gonna undo it. I'm just gonna put fluid in right now. I'm not gonna change the gasket and the filter and everything. I know that's probably what I should do, but this is a quick fix, so let's fix it quick and see how long it lasts. All right, so your so your fill plug is right here, and your drain plug is right there. Yeah. So that's your drain, and that's your fill. What you got to do is fill the fill plug up until the fluid runs out. I actually found a leak under here while I was looking at it, so I imagine I'll probably make a video soon about replacing the fluid and the filter and the gasket, but for now, we're just gonna fill it with new fluid and see if that bar stuff actually works. I'll test it. If it fixes the leak, I'll let you know. Hey. The hose has to take a pretty hard like right angle as soon as it goes up into the drain plug to get through a little hole where you can actually fill it. So I'm going to use this coat hanger to kind of make a shape for my hose to follow. Alright, so now it'll hold this angle so when I'm filling the transmission, the hose won't fall out. Alright, so that's that entire bottle, and we still don't have anything leaking out of the actual transmission. I'm betting that's not a good sign. <laughs> not a good sign. Oh man, that's okay. Alright, so we'll call that one done. And open up the other one. So this is just the regular Dexmark transmission fluid. All right, so as you can see, it's leaking now. I'm gonna let it leak until it stops and then I'll put the plug back in. Probably would have been smart to put some sort of catch can or something right about there, but oh well. So it's loosely tightened back up. Now you're gonna run the car, shift it through the gears, undo the bolt again, put more fluid in, put the bolt back in, and you're done. 
really messy experience. I'm sure that automatic transmission fluid is not good for your hands. So I'm gonna cut the car off, torque the bolt back down, and uh, hopefully my car will actually shift smooth for the first time in ever, Gary. Let's do it. All right, so the transmission is full. All right, I put some of that bars, stop leak stuff, conditioner stuff in there, and then I put some Dex Cool in there as well. I also learned how to put um, transition fluid in this car. It's not hard, it's just easy to make a mess, and I definitely made a mess. But just shifting the car sitting on the blocks, it shifts so much smoother, um, it, and it takes less time to shift. So I'm gonna take it out for a drive when I get done with this series and see how it goes, make sure that it shifts at speed and doesn't throw me around like it was before. I think it's gonna be awesome. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video and keep a lookout for the end of this series when I'm gonna test all this stuff out to see if it actually worked. See ya.